Hey, does anybody remember back in 1985? Um, well, you may not be old enough, but those that do. Remember, 1985 was the same year that uh, Dr. Emmett Brown and Marty McFly decided to go back to the future. Well, an interesting thing that during that year as well, Maria Osmond and Dan Seals recorded a song called Meet Me in Montana. I had a roommate of mine who was splitting the bills and chasing skirts, believe it or not. I'm not proud of it, but it's the way it is. <laughs> uh, Donnelly Lee. I was being nice. Truth is, those skirts were chasing me. Believe that. Donnelly and I were employed by the same place and in the evenings we'd have the radio on when that song Meet Me in Montana came out man we both said you know we need to go we need to go to Montana so it's been on my bucket list since 1985 and uh, Donnelly went I didn't so when the Stanley company invited me to join them in Prey, Montana. <laughs> it wasn't a hard decision to make, and I had a blast. Well, hello everybody. It's good to see you. Well, it's kind of hard to see you. Must... Yeah, well, it's getting dark. That's better. I'm Donnie Pavolini, and I recently was afforded a grand opportunity to go to Prey, Montana for the Stanley Company's Ambassador and Media Gathering. It was a great time and I would like to show you guys some of the most amazing sights that I personally have had the opportunity to witness. What I mean by that is the sheer natural beauty of what is Montana. I hope you enjoy. See a couple of guys chilling. This is the first time I've ever set foot on northwestern soil. And it's so interesting. There's so many different things here. First time I've ever seen a cactus growing in just on a hillside. For no reason. It just wants to grow on a hillside. Found a couple of bones out here. Interesting little stone here. Got a built-in mortar and pestle. Just all kinds of cool stuff. I just can't get over the sheer majesty of this valley. It's called Paradise Valley over here. From all accounts, it is a paradise. You've got a lot of aspen trees growing where you live, but in South Mississippi, we don't have them. Listen to the snowfall. It sounds like we got a little running water down there. So. We got chilling, standing on the shores of the Yellowstone River.
truly the wildlife is just incredible over there, you know. The Sand Hill Crane. Well, down here in Mississippi, uh, more toward Jackson County in Mississippi, the Sand Hill Crane are, are preserved and protected down here, okay? I thought they were unique to our area. Wrong. They're everywhere up there. I saw those things everywhere. I saw a bald eagle against that beautiful Montana sky. It was a very humbling experience. All kinds of wildlife. It's beautiful. If you ever get a chance to visit Montana, I highly recommend that you do so because you will not soon forget it. I want to thank the Stanley Company for inviting me to share that experience with them. And on the next video, we're going to get into some more of you know, so, some of the event happenings and so forth. And guys, fasten your seatbelt because in a very short time, uh, we're going to take a look at something that you are guaranteed to like. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled about it, and I mean it. From Donnie Pavlini Outdoors, thank you for hanging out, and we will see you in the woods with a Stanley, for sure. Take care.